Alexander with it. Left hand corner being guarded by Tyrese Watkins. Watkins posted the ball a little bit, but then they swing it over to Wellington Smith. Smith is going to hand the ball off to Missoula. Now outside Alexander for three. No good this time. Rebound. We got an over the back. And that's a good call as Denzel Lyles had Smith. Wellington Smith climbing all over his back for the rebound. So it goes over to Mountain State. 34 to 21. Mountaineers with the lead. 424 to play till halftime. Jarvis Jackson walking it up the floor, crossing the midcourt line, over to Spencer. Spencer goes right by Ruff, little floater, no good, tipped up and in, give it to Jason McGriff. Nice initial drive by Spencer, but as many shots in the first half, it just kind of rolled off the rim, but McGriff was there fighting for the rebound. I don't know if he's trying to tip that in, but he did. Three-pointer at the other end, no good. Tyrese Watkins high above everybody for the rebound. Off to Jarvis Jackson, lead pass to Jason McGriff all the way, banks it up, and good, and a foul! McGriff running the floor, a nice feed from Jarvis Jackson. And this will put the Cougars, if he can hit this foul shot, they'll put him back with an eight. Media timeout with 3.51 to play first half. Mountain State University trailing 34-25. We're back in 60 seconds on Power Country, 105.9 FM. The lead just single digits. Here's almost a steal. Now Ruff open for three. It's up and it's good. Oh, they can't continue to leave him open. That's his fourth three, and it's a 13-point WVU lead. Jarvis Jackson, little crossover, looking for help. In trouble, now calls out a play. 55 seconds to play first half. Jackson starts to drive all the way. He's gonna float it up there, and it's good. That possession was the Jarvis Jackson show. That's his first bucket, and it makes it an 11-point lead. 40 seconds on the game clock, and the Mountaineers will have to shoot it. There's about a nine-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Missoula gonna spin in the paint, gets it outside to Ruff. Spencer in his face. Takes a spin move in the lane. He will kick it right-hand side. A three-pointer goes up and missed. Adron Marshall with the rebound. 19 seconds to play first half. Here come the Cougars. Jarvis Jackson with 14 to go. They could cut it to single digits with a basket here. Jarvis Jackson with eight seconds to go till halftime. Jackson gets picked up by Ruff. Four seconds to go. Starts to drive in the lane. Feeds it to Tyrese Watkins. Misses the layup. And there's the gun. And that will do it for the first half. A basket there would have cut it to nine points, but Tyrese Watkins misses the layup on a drawn-up perfect play. They could not convert. So, at halftime, certainly not an insurmountable lead, but the Cougars will trail by 11. They trail by as many as 13 in the first half, and it's going to be 11-point deficit here at the break. i tell you right now, Bob Bowen was not happy and that last play did not work out because whatever they had called, it was the right thing. Jarvis Jackson, to four seconds left, he went on the drive and tried to wrap around past the Tyrese Watkins, who was right there and could have had a, uh, an open layup, but it just misses. He threw it a little bit too hard off the glass. Before we take a break, let's thank all our sponsors. We especially thank our corporate sponsor, TNS Wireless, an authorized U.S. cellular agent with four locations. At the Crossroads Mall, also Nelgene Square in Beckley, Leicester Square, Sophia, and the Beaver Plaza.